38 years of independence, and still the land I call home feels for me. My ancestors must be shaking in their graves. My name is Isabel. I'm a hairdresser from Zimbabwe. I apologize for approaching you without an apron or hair products, but lately I've been thinking of my people. If it were up to me, I would bring a shelter for the homeless guy at the corner. He's actually educated, but he just can't seem to find a job because our industry won't accept him unless he has English or math. But he's an artist, so he doesn't get a chair at the business table. So I will change the education system. Make sure the white collar and the blue collar qualifications are treated equal. Because now our economy is filled with accountants, lawyers, doctors, but I want a place where all are afforded the same quality. All can be flourishing in an economy that they can do all the things that they can. I am tired of singing a song that's not ours. I have grown a cover for the number of times I've had to admit that we don't have a currency of our own. See, ours was set by inflation, so now we use what we can get our hands on. If it were up to me, I would build an inflate, I would build a currency. Let's build a currency that we can be proud of. One that I can pull out even in a foreign land. But let's start with cash injection. I will help foreign investment. See, our industries have become redundant. Why close away pockets that want to invest in our economy? Rather, let's evade the fate of having to inject candidates, well-educated graduates, into an economy that is a ghost. Of all the gossips that I do in the salon, I could spend hours coming up with policies, good for education, good for businesses, good for my children. But I'm still a hairdresser. I will be taking off these stilettos to go and do a six-hour hair break. But while I'm at it, if I had the chance, given the ability, if I wore the crown of decision making, I will put my goals to action and make my Zimbabwe a better place. Thank you. <laughs> 